Soda bread is one of those staples that you get throughout Ireland. And in fact, you can get it in the rest of the UK as well, but I think home-baked soda bread cannot be beat. Beat? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. The uh, ingredients will all appear um, at the bottom of the screen. So we've got our plain flour, that goes into a large mixing bowl. We've got our wholemeal flour, which goes in as well. Uh, we have our salt, and we have our bicarbonate of soda. And we are going to stir all those together until they are all well mixed. And yes, of course, I am making a mess as usual. Okay, so it doesn't take much stirring just to get them all together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a well in the middle of the mixture and we have our buttermilk. So we're going to pour in the buttermilk. I've never used buttermilk before. I remember we used to get it at home. My mother used to buy it and I guess it was um, for, for baking and I never really noticed what was going on with it. So then you take a large fork. Well, this is the biggest fork we have. I don't know if you can get a giant one, but if you did, that might work. And we are going to form a soft dough. So we want to mix this quickly. So we'll try and get this done as quickly as possible, splashing pole along the way. Now, if the dough is a little bit too runny, you uh, sorry, a little bit less runny, you, um, you can add some extra milk. But what you don't want uh, is to have a very runny mixture. Um, I might just try to get the last of that bit of buttermilk in there, though. That's it. Because we do want all the ingredients to come together. But it is going to be something that is going to be hands-on in a moment. So the fork <coughs> is going through all these lovely ingredients. And we want to get it all nicely mixed together. Now I think that it is slightly still a little bit dry. So I'm going to add some milk. This is ordinary milk this time. Put it in that area and there where there is still some flour. Oh yeah, the circus. I can feel the sogginess coming there now, but there's enough dry ingredients to make it okay. Oh no. Hopefully I haven't over eggs to the pudding. There's no egg in it, so I don't see how I could have done that. Right. Ooh, I can smell the buttermilk in there. Right, okay, now what we want to do is we gather up the, uh, the dough mixture and we put it onto this lightly floured board and we want to knead it a little bit, not too much, so we'll just form it into a bowl first of all. I think I might need a little bit more flour there. That is just the flour, extra flour uh, for dusting and kneading. So there we go, ah yeah, so there we go. Very therapeutic and it doesn't need too much at all. There we go. And we now want to flatten the dough slightly. So we still keep it in the shape of a ball. So we'll get it back into a ball and then just flatten it ever so slightly like, like that. And the next thing we want to do is to put a nice cross in the middle of it. And that's just to let the air through, I think. <laughs> or maybe it's the cross of St. Patrick, who knows? It's St. Patrick's Day after all. Now, this will now go into the oven. It's preheated at 200 degrees Celsius and it goes in for 30 minutes or until you, you can look in and give it a tap and as soon as it's hollow, uh, it's ready. So we've got a greaseproof paper on our um, tray here, baking tray, and it just simply goes on like that. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Mmm. I just hope I haven't put too much milk in there, but we'll see when it comes out. So it goes in there, and we want the convection oven at 200 Celsius for 10, 20, 30 minutes. 
let's see how that turns out. Thirty minutes has passed. Let's open the oven and see how it has turned out. Ooh, it looks good. Mmm, it's not burnt. Look at that. Now this is the test. If it's hollow, it's ready. Oh, that's definitely hollow. And I can smell the soda of that. It's absolutely delicious. It's, well, it, it will be. No. You can't cut into it. I know that's very tempting and you might want to just cut into it straight away. But using fingers very, very quickly, you need to transfer it onto a wire rack and just let it cool down and then we'll be able to enjoy tucking in. Hello? What are you doing? Well, I'm just checking that it is definitely hollow. And look at that. Mmm. Mmm. That's lovely. Okay, so... Now we're going to slice. We're just going to cut it straight through the middle, I think, and then we'll have a good look to see how it has turned out. Oh, it's a nice crispy sound there. Look at that. Mmm! That is real soda. Actually, I'd say it's soda type uh, stroke wheat and bread. What is in it again? Um, so it is wholemeal flour, plain flour, bicarbonate of soda, buttermilk, and salt and that is it and i think the only way to have this is with lovely butter so let's get our butter put it on do you think this will inspire you to make more bread mm, it might do let's take a taste Oh, it's delicious. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. St. Patrick, who lived during the 5th century, is the patron saint of Ireland. Born in Roman Britain, he was kidnapped and brought to Ireland as a slave at the age of 16. He later escaped but returned to Ireland and was credited with bringing Christianity to its people. Thank you. 
May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, then please subscribe. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone! Yes. Happy St. Patrick's Day! We are here, the bar is declared open. So welcome to our St. Patrick's Day celebration. And Paul has been very busy and has been out shopping. And what have you got for us tonight, Paul? Single malt bushmills! All the way from County Antrim, that's where I'm from. And also, I picked up this bottle of Guinness Original Extra Stout. Just like me, Extra Stout. Oops. Dark and lively. Oh, just like me as well. And uh, I've not actually seen this one before, but it says, if it says Guinness Original, it must taste as good as Guinness straight out of St. James's Gate in Dublin. So, how are we going to start? Because are we using the Guinness as a chaser to the whiskey? Or shall we do them separately? I need to say something first. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Bushmills Original, our signature blend of single malt and fine grain whiskey for a smooth, mellow taste. Ah. So, so I stand corrected, people. I don't want any hate mail. Why? What did you say? <laughs> I said single malt. Oh, right. But they do do single malt as well, don't they? They do do it, but this one isn't that one. So this is the original. Irish original, whiskey. this means that it's, it is the blend of the single malt and the grain whiskies. Okay, well now we've settled that, perhaps it is time to open the bottle. Well, I think we should be generous today, don't you think? Can I have a sniff? Mmm. Yeah. Do you Quite want this glass? glass? Oh, well, it's, an, it's the, a Jameson glass, so we're having Bushmills out of a Jameson glass. Now, we've actually been to both of those distilleries. Or at least, I've been to Jameson. I have Ah, or I went to Jameson on my own one time, before Paul arrived on these fair shows. But we both went to Bush Mills, and we'll talk to you about that a little later. But cheers, everyone. Cheers. Now, hmm, what do you detect? What smells do you detect here? It's quite subtle, I think. I'm not sure what I pick up. Shall we have a have a taste and see? <laughs> oh, you've, oh, okay, you started already. <laughs> It's quite... Is it smoky? I don't think so. Uh, well, it's, I... it's burny, so something's, something's burning if there's no smoke. But It tastes a little sweet. It tastes caramel. I think I say that to all of okay. So I think I need to be more specific. Mm. It's not that potent. It's not that potent. Uh, I say what it says. No, don't, don't tell me. I'm anything. not going to tell you. I think I'm going to try to read your mind. <laughs> It doesn't say anyway, so... Seriously? Yeah. Maybe it says on the... the box? On the box. Any clues? Ah. Oh, I've got doesn't to read that, this. Doesn't that taste of caramel? Well, it doesn't actually say what it should taste of. I think that's just left Hint up to of the of chocolate? Drink. Well, I'm just going to read you this because Apple it reminds spice. me of home. Found on County Antrim's rugged coastline, the village of Bush Mills is home to the world's oldest licensed whiskey distillery. Official records stretch back to 1608, when the area was granted its license to distill. Over 400 years later, whiskey is still being made in Bush Mills, thanks to experience and craft passed down from generation to generation. We couldn't make our whiskey anywhere but here. Our water, drawn from the river bush, flows over beds of basalt rock, the same rock that lends its unique character to another famous local attraction, Oh, um, a giant's causeway. Yes, the giant's causeway. 
Bush Mills is more than just a whiskey. It's a village where family, friends and neighbours work side by side at the distillery. As we often say, without the village, there would be no whiskey. And without the whiskey, there would be no village. Bush Mills since 1608. That's just eight minutes past four, isn't it? It's a quite <laughs> early, early time to start drinking in the afternoon. But there you go. Well, we shall enjoy this and tell you a little bit about our trip to Bushmills Distillery. It was about ten years ago, I think, wasn't it? I remember oh. going um, a couple of times. Was it? You went more than once? I think I went twice. Oh, okay. Uh, once I went, we ordered a 20-year-old <laughs> Bushmills yeah. that was bottled. I think it was like about... 10 pounds for, well that was just for was, one for one for, shot for a drown yes um but it tastes exquisite yeah and the whole thing well of course you can't take any photographs or anything around there i don't think it's because they don't want you to see um the inside of the distillery but the flashes and everything can affect the atmosphere it, yeah i i think in I my think wrong. um affect the distillation process or something. And the thing is, I lived very close to Bush Mills. I'm from Ballymoney in County Antrim and it's barely 10 miles away. And I lived in Northern Ireland until I was 24. And not once did I visit Bush Mills Distillery. And I think it's, it's one of those things when you've got somewhere as major as that, like a major tourist attraction on your doorstep, you tend not to, not to go. So it was a good 20 years perhaps, well, 15 years after I left, um, that I actually got to visit it. Oh my God. Oh, first time. But I'd been to the, the Jameson distillery um, before I went to the Bush Mills. We did have a Bush Mills glass. In fact, oh, that's it. But it had a, <laughs> yeah, no, this is it. Paul's got it, but you wouldn't know because Bush it had- Bush Mills thing came off. <laughs> yeah, it had a, a little silver badge on it and yeah. it, it fell off. Okay. But, but I remember going, I remember us going on the tour, I remember me taking it all in and then asking loads of stupid questions to the tour guy and then I'm sure he was saying to himself, can this guy just shut up now? Was there a free drink at the end? I think that there was, but, um, but that... I was driving, you see, that's why I think I had to have a Diet Coke, which wasn't very enjoyable. At, well, Diet Coke's lovely, but not at a distillery when you've got free whiskey and you're the designated driver. <laughs> so whiskey is the water of life. And perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Do you like our flags, our bunting? We've got the, the green, the white and orange of the Irish trickery. So we're celebrating, of course, St. Patrick's Day. And we hope that you've enjoyed the show so far. My soda bread making, the Irish blessing, um, and all the lovely music that we have um managed to provide for you on this very special day. Now I need to pop open some Guinness. Mm, why not? You would normally get this on tap, mm, which tastes much better than Wow. That. There's like there there's was like, like some smokiness. There's something coming off this, what is it? <laughs> there was like steam or smoke coming out of the bottle. I think I still do see it. Oh it's that's that's a bone, okay. Should I yes, pour? Yes, yes, pour. And show it to the camera so we can get a good look. Oh, wow. I'm going to stop. Don't pour it the whole way. Okay, well, you pour yours. Take that glass. Oh. I'm just going to go over here. Because I think you should get to see this. Look at that. That is absolutely fabulous. And just while yeah. you're here, while I'm here, there's, a, there's the whiskey close-up as well. I, don't know that. I need to pour you some more, dear. Ooh, well, I better get back over there. Otherwise, this is all mine. <laughs> pour away. Oh, is that it? You can have the one No, no! More. No, no. It's about the same. Is it? Yeah. Oh, mm. Now, the thing is with Guinness, of course, when you, you go to the pub, it's... It should be poured in um, in two goes uh, to let to let it settle. Um, if you go in somewhere like you've, I've been in nightclubs before, yes, I have been in nightclubs, believe it or not. And um, 
they tend to just you know ask for a, for a Guinness. Well, who <laughs> asked for a Guinness in my club? I do. And uh, you get it immediately, and it's not poured correctly. It tastes terrible because it hasn't been poured the right way. It's got to be poured in two goes. It's got to settle. I think someone said, is it a um, hundred and ninety seconds or something, or hundred and sixty oh, wow. seconds with a pour? That many? Yeah. So you you know you do have to wait for it. But what I was trying to say is that with the bottle here, it just seemed to you know there's, there's no head. It just settled straight away. So cheers. Cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's mm. Day! Mm. I have something else to say. Okay. Do you remember when I used to live in the States? Mm. Do you remember we used to order Guinness? Oh, well, there was, a, there was an Irish bar that just had all Guinness on top. Is it that one? Do you remember you used to say, oh, this tastes off? Uh, well, it doesn't travel, <laughs> it doesn't travel well, and the thing is, Guinness is distilled um, in. Is it distilled or brewed? Brewed. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> brewed, brewed in, in various places around the world. I think in the US they they, they, they do brew it there, but it, it doesn't it doesn't travel that that well. Because I was used to having some of that Guinness, then I thought, oh, this tastes okay. But then when I came over here and had it at the authentic place. What at the, the actual uh, the authentic place? <laughs> what at St James's Gate? Yeah, in Dublin. Do you remember we went up to the yeah. Guinness? The Guinness, uh, let's get the Guinness storehouse. It's called. I forgot the name. Yeah. <laughs> no, it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love that place. I need to go back. Yes, and they give you a little free gift as well. It was like a little sort of a stone okay. type thing. Um, yeah. So cheers, cheers to St Patrick's Day. And you see, we're being very, very fair. We are representing the North and the South. So, you know, all, all bases covered, I think, today. Yes. What do you think? What do you think about this Guinness, actually? Because it, it, it's, this isn't the Guinness that you would get on tap. This is fizzy. Hmm. There's a fizz in here, because if you buy, if you get a Guinness, um, even a Guinness out of a can, but a, I'm more talking about draft Guinness. It's smooth. I mean, that's the whole the whole thing. I but, sort of like the one in the can. Yeah, but this, you see, this is different. This is this is Guinness original. Oh. Yeah, and it doesn't give me any more clues. As, uh, well, it just says the original extra stout. So I'm uh, extra stout, original recipe. So I'm not really sure how this um, sort of compares uh, officially with the. Uh, Guinness on Tap. The Guinness on Tap is amazing. They have the original Guinness and then they have one called Guinness Extra Cold. Oh yeah. And it's, and it's really cold. Mm. And it goes down like butter. <laughs> or it goes, it's so smooth. <laughs> or it goes down like water. Yes. Um, no. I I want some Guinness now. Well, this one. <laughs> okay. Well, there's another big celebration coming up. Is there? Yes, it's my birthday, <gasps> and it's a big one. It's on our next show, so make sure you tune in there. It's Marcus and Paul, and it's Marcus at. Well, you'll find out on the next show. What? That yes, I might be turning the big four zero. So there you go. Well, cheers to you before yes. that. Then. <laughs> And cheers to all of you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. See you on my birthday. <laughs> Bye. 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 Whiskey left as well. Should I? I don't have any more whiskey left. Well, maybe you need some more. <laughs>